Hey guys, it's Drew. Beer for breakfast, facts for snacks. Sorry for uh, a little bit of crack in the other uh, video. It was unwanted, but wanted. I think I did it on purpose. I did it on purpose for you guys to look at because I'm that kind of guy. I'm just saying, I'm that kind of guy. And if you didn't see my crack, look at my last video so you can see my crack. How's that sound? But today's video, you already know what it is. It's from Cowbell Brewing. I was at Metro today. Um, and I wasn't going to do this for a couple of weeks because I got a shitload of beer to do. But I want an IPA today. I want an IPA. So I said, well, I'm going to do an IPA. It's nice and cold. Cowbell Brewing. Fox and Brewing. Uh, it's an India Pale craft beer that rings true. 6.3% uh, alcohol. Um, uh, the, the description of the uh, Doc Produce Box and Brewing. Okay, so uh, it's 6.3, 50 IBU, SMR is 10, so it's a little darker. Serve at 3 degrees Celsius. Pretty sure this is about 3. Um, Dox Purdue was Bliss veterinarian in the late 1880s. Wow, I can't believe history. Like, how do, how do you know this stuff? Like, come on, come on. If you want to see some crack, go to my last video. Just saying. All right. Who rescued and cared for a variety of animals, including a bear pub, or a bear cub, not pub, cub. That's what I'm thinking, beer. He named Bruin. Along with uh, impromptu boxing expeditionists with the fully grown Bruin, Doc's office became Bliss Unofficial Zoo and a popular spot for gathering. <laughs> Don't mind a little cough, a little tickle. I just had some beautiful pork chops from Metro. Oh, and rice. Mm, mm, mm. Got my Spigaloo. Spigaloo. Um... Uh, uh, outrageous a hoppy with classically bitter okay it's 3.7 out of 5 with 7642 ratings on untapped I'm on untapped I just don't know how to use it yet I'm gonna figure it out this week okay um, outrageously hoppy and classically bitter boxing brewing is a true IPA okay I I K okay, so before I read the rest of this uh, last year, last winter, my buddy Cody came by with one of these and we split it because I've never had one. And I thought it was pretty good, I think. Or did I not? That's why I'm reviewing it now because I don't remember what it tastes like. I do know I had one. I just don't remember. Five unique hops. Oh, five unique hops. And a touch of Belgium candy syrup. Here we go. Hold on one second. Where are you up here? Can I have one more beer? Or having a beer. Yeah. She's having a beer. Okay. I'm having a beer. Okay, so uh, this is a, a Belgium candy syrup. The Lenier. Uh, has uh, made with Belgium candy sugar. What's the difference? Is the sugar melted down the syrup? I'm just saying. There, so here's the linear. Um, created a burst of vibrant tropical aromas and flavors of lime, mango, and lychee. I don't know what lychee is. Do you know what lychee is? If you do, please comment down below. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. L. Y C H E E, Lishi. Just saying, if I Google hooked up, it's right here. I can ask Google for you guys, but I don't have it hooked up right now. Uh, the body is smooth with focused bitterness and refreshing finish. Certified vegan. What the hell is vegan? I just had pork chops. You're telling me certified vegan? Come on. Let's get into this beer. And it smells nice. It smells nice. Honestly, it, it really does. I get some mangoes already. All right. I need an IPA today. Um, I've been drinking uh, crap beer. Not craft beer. Crap beer. Watching YouTube. 
And if you're like, well, what is crap beer? Why would you have crap beer in your house? Because I can't afford, and even though you saw all the beers I had in the last video with the crack, okay? I can't afford to drink those all the time. So I drink crap beer in between videos. Does that make sense? It does to me. And if you don't like that, <clears throat> I'm sorry. So I drink crap beer so I can enjoy good beer and good beer for videos for you. Because if not, I can't do this for you. Let's get the aroma. Man, I just, I, the last two videos, I'm over the place. I, I might as well just show you my crack again. Do you want to see my crack again? I'm okay with that. Are you okay with it? All right, so mango, papaya, papaya. I'm not, <laughs> I don't know what lychee is or lychee. I don't know what that is. So I, I can't, it smells like lychee be worms or something I don't know what that is but I'm getting mango I am getting papaya a little bit of pineapple and a little bit of uh, pine for sure um, it looks nice and not gonna lie it looks really good I don't know if I enjoyed it this is a year and a half ago and I said two years three years ago I started to get into get into craft I think a year and a half ago when I had this with Cody or, or say 14 months ago, it kind of turned me off. I think, I, I'm thinking if I, I think it did, um, I'm thinking I'm going to enjoy it more now because my palate has changed and you, you train your palate by having a couple of these a day and something like a linear day. So you have three beers, two of those and one of these trains your palate. Let's get into this uh, boxing brewing. Doc Purdue's India Pale Ale. Let's get into it. I'm actually excited for this. All right, so she's smooth. She's got a little mango, um, a little bit of bitterness. I don't taste 50 IBU. I don't taste 6.3% alcohol. That's actually not bad at all. It's very drinkable. Um, when was this brewed on? Oh my God, it's all over the place. Do, like, do that. I don't know. I don't know what it says because I think they're, um, hold on, I'll show you. Maybe you can read it out. Let's get the rest of this in here. Maybe you could tell me what this says because I think their printer what does that say? I don't know. I really don't. I don't. <laughs> Something happened when they were printing it, but it's there, so good for them. Uh, mango, pineapple, a little bit of grapefruit. I don't see. I don't feel a fifty. Uh, you know, stone fruit. I get some stone fruit. I actually, not gonna lie, I do get a tiny little bit of lime, like it says. Is it my favorite? No. Is it what I've had the last few days? No. But is this something that I can buy and just put in the fridge and have an IPA when I want and it's half decent? Yes. This is just like, a, well, this is not stiletto. This is, this is a, it's close to Brant Strong. Brantford Strong. It's close. Not as bitter as Brantford Strong. The bitterness in Brantford Strong was um, a, lot, a lot better. It was, a, it was a bit better than this beer. Would I buy a skin? Absolutely. Do I enjoy this? Of course I do. Will I give it like a huge rating? Sorry, that was the screen turning off. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, on my laptop. Will I give this a big rating? I'm not going to give it a huge rating. Is it in the eights? No. But is it something that you got to try? I think you got to try this beer. And I'm giving it a 7.8. A 7.8. I think a 7.8 is a perfect score for this beer. And I think this is a well-made beer. A well-made beer. Well-made IPA for when you want to 
have a couple without posting stuff. See, I do this and I post it and then I'm not even gonna take a picture of this one. I'll buy another one and take a picture. I'm gonna enjoy this one. This is not one where you go, oh, look what I got, Boxing Bruin. This is one where I buy two of them, they're in the fridge, and I get to enjoy it. That's it. Uh, so seven, eight. Seven, eight, I think is the perfect, perfect score. Okay, guys? Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And, and enjoy yourself some Cowbell Brewing. I know there were some problems last year with their company and they're having issues and this and that. But they're coming back, man. And it's good. It's good. And I, I love stuff like this. Like, comment, and subscribe. Super Bowl tomorrow. And I'll be back tomorrow with two other beers. Just two other beers tomorrow because I want to be able to sleep in tomorrow, have some bacon and eggs, and enjoy my morning. I'll come back in the afternoon with two beers. Is that, is that too much to ask? Because at 6.30, I don't want to be drunk. Yeah, I don't want to be drunk at 6.30 doing that. Watching Super Bowl. So, anyways, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow. Have an excellent night, guys. I love you guys dearly. Cheers.